Straight out of the gate, the Gem 1 FRS BRZ GT86 platform is hugely popular because it handles great for the price point that it comes in at. But of course, it's built for the everyday driver. And anybody looking to get more performance out of this car has a lot of different areas of opportunity for improving the suspension. Now, I'm Alex, the founder and CEO at Motoroso. And in this video, I'm going to take you through all those areas of opportunities and some of the products that are available. Some of the products I'm going to mention are not available for purchase on our website, but some are. And when they are, we'll put a link to those in the description. Let's dig in. One of the first things people are usually trying to do is lower their car a little bit because it looks better and of course it lowers the center of gravity and it helps with the handling overall. Now we think the best way to do this is through coilovers and we're going to talk about those a little bit later. That's actually going to give you a bigger improvement in overall suspension performance. But because it's inexpensive, a lot of people like to look at lowering springs. We don't usually generally recommend them. We say get coilovers but lowering springs are worth taking a look at if you're on a budget. The things you're primarily looking to know about lowering springs is how much does it lower the vehicle? Sometimes it's different front and rear. Is it a progressive or a linear spring? And how much stiffer is that spring rate than stock? Now, the difference between a linear and a progressive spring without going into too much spring science here, basically a progressive spring is gonna be a little softer at the beginning of the spring stroke, giving you a little bit more compliant ride, and it's gonna ramp up and, give, and help prevent the car from bottom out. And then a linear spring is going to be the same spring rate throughout, which is better typically for suspension performance and, and, and motorsports applications because the spring just performs more consistently throughout. And that's a personal preference thing. First up, one of the more affordable options in the industry is the Mach 5 lowering springs. They're going to drop you three quarters of an inch in the front and one inch in the rear, and they feature a linear spring, and it's 25% stiffer in the front and 15% stiffer in the rear. And then you have two options from Eibach, their Pro Kit, which is going to drop you one inch front and rear, and it's going to feature a progressive spring, and it's going to be about 25% stiffer than stock overall. Now, they have another kit that lowers you the most out of any of the products that we're mentioning here, and that's their Sport Line kit. That's 1.4 inches lower front and rear with a progressive spring, also 25% stiffer than stock. You can also check out the Faction Fab F Specs, which are going to lower you one inch in the front and 0.8 inches in the rear. They have a linear spring, and it's 35% stiffer in the front and 15% stiffer in the rear. And then at the top of the price point range is going to be the Race Comp Engineering Springs. This is going to lower you 0.75 inches in the front, one inch in the rear. It's a linear spring as well, and it's 40% stiffer in the front and 15% stiffer in the rear. So as we mentioned, lowering springs a very inexpensive way of just lowering the car and getting a touch more performance in your handling. But if you really want to improve your suspension, then coilovers are not that much more expensive in some cases and will yield a much more dramatic increase in performance and then adjustability. The ability to tune exactly how the car looks and feels, that's what you're going to get out of a set of coilovers. And there's some major features that you're going to be looking for from any of these coilovers. First is going to be ride height adjustment. And these are going to be a, a, a range of adjustment where you can tune exactly how the car sits front and rear and you can tune it around the wheels and tires that you have to look exactly the way you want it instead of just choosing I want one inch or 1.4 inches. You're also going to be looking for damping controls. You have rebound damping and compression damping and this is going to allow you to control the way that the shock moves, how quickly it rebounds from a compression stroke and this is going to change the way the car feels dramatically and this is going to allow you to tune for the street or for the track or whatever you're doing and have different settings for each of the applications really giving you control over the vehicle. And then you're also going to have some uh, coilovers that have an adjustable camber top plate. If you lower the car a lot, the camber can get pretty extreme and you want to be able to adjust that to have it look exactly the way you want to and perform exactly the way that it should. Our first two products come from Tane, and these are going to come in at the very entry level price point, but these are pretty packed with some really cool features. For under $800, you can get yourself the Street Advance Z. Now, this is a fixed camber adjustment, but it does have a ride height adjustment, allowing you to tune exactly how high it sits. If you're on the fence about uh, lowering springs or coilovers, this is the first product you want to consider because at under $800, it's a hell of a value. Now, it is also compatible with their EDFC system, which is a really unique electronic damping control module that can be installed in the car and make real-time adjustments to the suspension on the car. And that's a lot of tech to be packed into a product at this price point. Now, if you want to spend a little bit more with Tane, you can go up to the Flex Z. This now adds a damping control knob, which moves rebound and compression damping at the same time, allowing you to fine-tune the way the car feels a little bit more. And it's going to add that camber adjustment top plate, which lets you control the camber of the front wheels. This is an awesome feature, and this is only about $950. The next three options 
come from a company called ST Suspensions. And here's an example of an ST Suspension coilover right here. Now these are made by KW Suspension. And KW is known to be one of the top suspension manufacturers in the world with a ton of experience in motorsports. And they're trickling those products down to the ST Suspension line, which is more of an entry level offering. And for under $1,000, you have two choices from them. You can start with the ST Suspensions ST X offering, which is a very much a bolt-in product. You're going to bolt it in and it's going to perform exactly the way that they've tuned it to perform, which is going to be a good blend of like street and track performance. You are going to have ride height adjustment, but no damping and no camber adjustments. For a little closer to the $1,000 price point, you're going to find the XA. Now the XA is going to add a rebound damping control. This is going to allow you to control the way that the shock rebounds from its compression stroke and give it a firmer or softer ride as you cruise down the road and give you the option to have settings for the street or for the track. And then you can get to the XTA offering and this is where you have the same rebound damping control, ride high control, and then it adds a camber adjustable top plate and that's going to set you back a little over $1,300. And another very, very popular option in the industry because they pack so so many features into their products are the BC Racing BR series. And at just over $1,000, this thing has all the adjustments that we've talked about. You get a single damping control knob, which adjusts rebound and compression damping at the same time, allowing you to tune the way that the car feels. It has a camber adjustable top plate and it has a ride height control. That's a lot of features at just over $1,000. And if you're going to be looking at the higher end products in the market, you're definitely going to find yourself looking at KW Suspensions. Now, this is a company that manufactures some of the best motorsport suspension in the world. They're outfitting some of the leading race teams out there. And they're trickling that technology down into consumer products, starting with the Variant 1. Now, this is a product where you bolt it up and go. There's no damping adjustments, no camber adjustments. You do have the ride height adjustment, of course, but this is already tuned for aggressive street driving and occasional track days. And at $1,300, it's got a lot of good technology inside that valving that you can just trust to offer the best quality ride at this price point. But then if you're the type that wants to make more adjustments to your shock and you're going to really fine tune it, then you're going to look at the Variant 3. Now, $2,200, this starts to get into the upper end of the price range, but you're featuring independent rebound and damping controls, and those valves feature the twin valve technology from KW, which is really special technology that essentially responds to high speed and low speed inputs differently. This is really advanced motorsports technology that's trickled down into this product, and it's patented, and it's going to offer really high quality ride like you're not going to find in any of the other products that we've talked about so far. Now, you're also going to have ride height adjustment, but there is no camber plate adjustability on this Variant 3. And the last product we'll mention here is the Olin's Road and Track Coilovers. Now, this thing features one damping control, which is primarily adjusting rebound, but their damping control has their dual valve technology, which is very similar to KW's twin valve, and it's going to have high and low speed damping responses. This shock also features a ride height control, but it also includes that top plate, which offers a camber adjustment. So, all of these offerings are going to be a dramatic improvement. If you have any questions about these, hit us up in the comments or you can give us a ring. This car is known to have a little bit of excessive body roll and some oversteer, especially with those dinky stock tires. And one of the ways to control that is through a set of sway bars. Sway bars act like a spring that adds torsional stiffness to the vehicle and eliminates body roll. And this is going to help you tune as well because you can get adjustable sway bars that let you say exactly how much of that spring you want. Now, good sway bar kits are also going to come with adjustable end links, which are going to be really important for adjusting for your new ride height, whether you've done lowering springs or whether you've done coilovers. And they're going to have things like lateral locks that keep them inside the bushings. And of course, the best kits are going to come with polyethylene or elastomer bushings that are just going to be tighter and more snug feeling and last a lot longer. The first option we're going to mention here is going to be the Hotchkiss kit, which comes with end links, sway bars, and bushings for around $450. This is going to be 25 millimeters in the front and 19 millimeters in the rear, and it's made from tubular chromoly steel. Not the stiffest like a solid bar, but it's going to do a pretty decent job. Now, the problem we've had with the Hotchkiss is they can't seem to keep up with demand. During COVID, it has not been good to them, so we don't even know if we can get this for you, but if you give us a call, we'll check on it. The next product you can check out is going to be the Eibach set, and for between $450 and $500, it's going to be very similar. 
25 millimeter front and 19 millimeter rear and it's going to have those welded in lateral locks but their kit only comes with bushings and does not come with end links and lastly we're going to mention our favorite brand and the brand that we would recommend to almost everybody we talk about because we use it on every single one of our builds and that is white line and this is the white line kit for the ford focus rs build that we're about to do and listen they make all of their sway bars out of solid chromoly spring steel no tubular bars here that gives you maximum torsional rigidity allowing the front bar to be 22 millimeters and the rear bar to be 16 millimeters. Now they also make two other bars. If you want to fine tune the kit, you can get a 20 millimeter bar in the front or an 18 millimeter bar in the rear, allowing you to set it up exactly the way that you want it to. Each of those bars is also adjustable. You're going to find a two-way adjustable bar in the front and a three-way adjustable bar in the rear. Their kits come with their adjustable end links, which are machined and anodized and just look gorgeous. They also have their lateral locks, which are a clamp-on style, which means they're not welding a lateral lock to the bar, which that additional heat into the bar can affect the, the consistency of the torsional rigidity. Again, just the kind of attention to detail that White Line spends on their products really makes all the difference in the world and of course their kits come with their super high quality elastomer bushings which have knurled insides for retaining grease and grease channels for next to the ladder locks to make sure nothing squeaks over time while coilovers and sway bars are going to be some of the most popular suspension mods there are other things you can do to fine tune the alignment and tune the stance of the vehicle exactly the way you want it camber bolts are an extremely inexpensive way under 40 dollars of adjusting up to 1.5 degrees of camber they mount to the steering knuckle and let you just adjust that camber slightly now if you didn't get coilovers that have a camber plate or if you didn't get coilovers at all and you want to be able to adjust the camber to a greater degree you can get camber plates which will allow a range of up to three degrees and you've got popular products coming from Petters, Cusco, and Veras. Another very popular mod in the rear of the vehicle is going to be adjustable lower control arms. This is going to allow you to drop weight, increase strength, and gain camber and toe adjustments in many situations. One of the most popular options at about $250 is the SPC offering, which is going to allow you to adjust two degrees of camber and it includes offset toe bushings. Another option is going to come from Megan Racing, which is going to be an a steel construction but it features their pillow ball bushing it's gonna set you back around $370 but that pillow ball bushing is gonna actually make the whole car feel more solid and stiff contrary to the name it's harder but it's gonna give you that precision that you want the last option is gonna come from SPL now these are made out of t6 billet aluminum which are gonna be not only light but very strong these are gonna give you three mounting options for the sway bar end links and the shocks giving you complete control over the geometry of the vehicle these are really targeted at that high performance track application and they're gonna set you back around 630 bucks now if you've been playing with camber adjustments you're gonna to have to be able to make toe adjustments as well otherwise the car is not gonna roll right smooth efficiently and you're gonna burn through tires and you're gonna see great options here coming in between two and four hundred dollars from brands like SPC, White Line, and SPL. With all these handling upgrades, you're going to be flying through the corners, and it's going to be time to upgrade the braking performance on your car. So head on over and check out our braking video for the FRS GT86 BRZ platform. And of course, for everything we've talked about in this video, we've got links in the descriptions, and you can always reach us at motoroso.com. Thanks for watching.